What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we're continuing with our Mars Through Signs series, and we've arrived at Mars and Scorpio. And if you don't know, Mars represents our willpower, our energy, our passions, our force, our sexual drive. And Scorpio is a sign of secrecy. It's a sign of sexual instinct, um, taboos, things hidden, moving in silence, things like that. All right. And when Mars, traditionally Mars rules Scorpio. And in this other sign that it rules Aries, we say look at Mars like as a soldier. Okay. And Mars in Aries is very much a daytime soldier. Um, a soldier that's going to bring it right to your face. First house, Aries, face, okay? So, Mars' assignment is basically, like, go out there and win the war at all costs. Physically put your body on the line. <clears throat> Mars in Scorpio is more like a spy. This is a daytime. This is a daytime. This is a nighttime type of soldier someone who moves in silence and in the dark all right so first thing you need to know about mars and scorpio is that they these people are very much happy operating behind the scenes okay they these are the type of people that won't tell you about what they have planned until they know this plan is really about to materialize and it's one of the moving in silence is one of the keys to understanding Scorpio energy, but it's seriously one of the major keys in working with your Mars. All right. Next thing you need to know about um, Mars and Scorpio is that Mars and Scorpio makes excellent researchers. When these people dive into a new subject, okay they become highly obsessed about it and they want to know everything there is to know so mars and scorpio really give someone the ability to master whatever it is that they're passionate about and this is a perfect time uh, for me to remind you guys that when trying to understand your mars right and what you really are passionate about you're also going to look at venus as, as well as your sun always remember your sun represents the true will of the soul and the talents and gifts, okay, to help you manifest that. Venus represents what you actually love in life, what gives you this euphoric feeling, whatever you're doing, okay? And Mars is the fire, the passion, like, you know what? I'm determined. I'm, I won't be denied. And of all, and of all, of the Mars positions, you know, I feel like Scorpio has the best willpower because <laughs> there's a key to understanding Mars and water specifically. And it's like taking the trigger, taking the trigger, whatever triggers that Mars and, and, and like bottling it, bottling it. Or flipping it around to to your advantage. So instead of letting the impulsive nature of Mars make you give up on a task, where fire fire will 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 do that a lot, um, Mars and Scorpio sticks with it. I think I feel like Scorpio, you know, especially understands the value of pain. You know, and, and knows how to turn uh, pain into pleasure. So anybody you see with like um, Mars and like cancer and they're mad successful, these people have understood that. All right. So that's that's a secret to, to Mars and water, turn, turning your pain into pleasure. So I feel like Mars and Scorpio has some of the best willpower out there. They just... They try many different approaches towards getting what they want. All right. Next 
thing is that career wise, you have to be honest with yourself. So if I do a if I do a, a consultation for somebody with Mars and Scorpio, and they don't know what they want to do with themselves, I I ask them like, what are you really passionate about? And if they say I really don't know, first thing I'll jump into, what do you think about sex? And nine times out of ten, sex is a major area of interest. So Mars in certain signs, right? with the sexual nature gets really technical like mars and virgo mars and virgo really gets technical about sex they want to be uh some type of sex technicians uh gemini mars and gemini wants to try anything it, it possibly can <laughs> you know and mars and scorpio really wants to hit this this certain level of connection through sex or gain this Mars and Scorpio honestly wants the power that comes from sex and this power is within them all right it's within all of us but with your Mars and Scorpio how you go about maintaining your sexual desires has a huge effect upon how you manifest your other desires so that's some food for thought but mars and scorpio are some very uh sexual people and even if the sexual nature isn't um strong the energy is so you may have someone with mars and scorpio who doesn't engage in a lot of sex but they're a very sexual person they understand their sexuality as well as others sexualities so they're very uh quick to pick up on the motives of others all right and the way mars is working here can lead people to great careers in like psychology uh therapy specifically sexual therapy all right always remember people who who uh can speak about a topic well usually have went through some type of intense battle with that subject regardless of whether they say it or not all right so this is very much a part of the mars and scorpio mode on the negative side these guys can be you know uh, a little jealous they can be vengeful that's one thing they gotta um learn to overcome the ability to uh, the want for revenge so if you you a mars and libra you know they'll they'll take some things being done to them and, and turn the other cheek but mars and scorpio wants to retaliate and like i said they're gonna they're not gonna retaliate like mars and aries in your face mars and scorpio is gonna retaliate behind the scenes so they're definitely people uh people to watch out for all right so, guys, this is my interpretation of Mars and Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.